If you haven't watched the Brandon Ayuk interview on Club Shay Shay, I highly, highly recommend that you do so. I think it was a great interview. I just want to talk about a couple of the takeaways that I had from that show. First of all, shout out to Chad Ochocinco. He did a phenomenal job really kind of answering for Brandon Ayuk, knowing he's going through these negotiations. But look at Brandon Ayuk's face when Ocho Cinco is talking. And Ocho Cinco is talking about how Brandon Ayuk is the type of receiver that can line up anywhere. He can run all the routes. If the coach doesn't design a play to get him open, he's the type of guy that can get open. And then he said, you're worth 30 to $32 million a year. And when you look at Ayuk during this sequence, he's shaking his head like, yeah, Ocho's spitting. I agree, I agree. I know my worth. Now, I don't necessarily think that he believes he's worth 30 to 32. That is an astronomical number. And if that is the case, I don't believe a deal gets done. That being said, the follow-up question, however, was from Shannon Sharp, and he talked about the emojis. Basically, money talks, BS walks. IU skirted around it for a second. You could hear when somebody's upset or a little, their adrenaline's going, you kind of hear like a shortness of breath in their voice. Listen to Brandon Ayuk. Immediately, that gets heightened. He he gets that that fight or flight thing in his voice where he gets the shortness of, shortness of breath and wants to prove himself in that moment. Now he's doing a good job talking around the scenario, but he basically says, "Hey, you know, I'm a leader. I lead by example. I've done that since day one. I know I'm everything that I'm worth. I know that I'm a great player." And if the organization doesn't see that, and that's what it is. So basically he's saying, listen, if the 49ers aren't going to come correct, I'm out and I'm cool with that. I'm going to go somewhere that knows my value. Again, ultimately, this does not change my opinion. I do believe that Brandon Ayuk will remain a 49er. I believe the 49ers want him here. I think he would prefer to stay here. But Brandon Ayuk is about his business. He He's a very honest individual. And when you get him in front of a microphone, he's going to say exactly what's on his mind. And in this sense, I believe that he did that once again. He delivered. Go check it out. But again, pay attention to the demeanor. Listen to his voice when he answers that question and how he sounds almost out of breath and the fight or flight thing kicks in a little bit. I do find that interesting because he's passionate about this contract. He's passionate about getting paid. He's passionate about getting what he believes his worth is. And I think that he'll ultimately get that, but he certainly is about getting those things done. We'll see how long it takes. We'll see if it ultimately gets done. Looking forward to it, but definitely check out the interview. Brandon Ayuk is becoming a fan favorite. He deserves that. I think he deserves a captaincy on his chest next year. And I hope he's here for many, many years to come. And I believe that he will be.